That's farmer friend singer-songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack-of-all-trades Chris Horn. And we're Those, Those Taste Bud Guys. She so knows. That's probably why she walked in front of the like, camera, because she was on the radio, not on TV. How long was she on the radio for? Uh, I don't know. I mean, years. Years. And years, and years and years. Yeah. Professional. Enough to be called a professional. She's still talking. She apparently... Still, I guess it's, this is what it is. This is the Jacqueline show now. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever heard Stomping Around upstairs... See last episode earlier in the week. This... <laughs> One where we said, shh, shh, listen, that's Lyle's mom. That was her you just seen cutting through there. Mm Mm-hmm. True. Uh, All right. Hello, all you beautiful people, and welcome back. We're those taste bud guys. I'm Chris, and that's Lyle, or that's Lyle, and I'm Chris, however you deem to put that in the order of importance. Lyle. Yes, yes. What can we possibly be doing today? Uh, I'll tell you what we're doing. We're doing the right t-shirt, because last time we wore these t-shirts... We had to do the Sam Burton Rye, which was quite good. Uh, but like I was so in good. The... Here's the deal. This was the last time I had that bottle was when we shot that episode. <laughs> I guess who got into it between then? It's that's been like two months ago. Really, really, really tasty. And that's me nursing it. Um, no, I wanted the bourbon. And so I got my bourbon shirt on from Sam Burton. Um, so after an arm wrestling contest, we decided... The loser got to pick the whiskey. Yes. Oh, he wanted this. He's got a cork. I'm really... Here's the thing. I honestly, on the ride, my expectations were fairly low, and they just blew me out of the damn water. I agree. I'm really hoping the bourbon stands up. But our expectations is way up here now. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. Here's the thing. My... Color-wise, it looks like a fairly... Young bourbon, but then which I agree makes me that. nervous a little bit. And I also, but I like, think it is a fairly young bourbon. I also it? like a like a pretty stout, oaky, big, bold flavored <laughs> bourbon. And the rye was not big and bold, but it was just beautifully balanced. Um, oh, I like the nose on it though. It's warm. It's got that brown sugar and kind of honey flavors yeah. in it. It kind is, of sweet. It is nice. This is not like... It doesn't have the notes that she was just talking about, I know. though. This is... This so, is we'll see. We'll see. If I like this, it goes against... Everything you just claimed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't forget, your mom's watching. No, I know. I know. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Okay. Here's... All right. We're starting to develop a pattern with these guys. Um, man, there's like, is it chocolate or caramel on the very back end? Like right now, like right after you finish drinking, there's something, there's a flavor. It's gone. Man, I was going to tell you exactly what this is. Is my flat lining over there? What the heck's going on? <laughs> um, what do you think? What is this? It's iron root. Not the not, not that bottle, the other iron root. Oh yeah, well, I think we killed that. Yeah. We did kill it, I guess. Um, it is really good. But there's a little more brown. Sh- I think you're spot on with brown sugar and caramel. There's a little like like chocolate notes in there. Um, I will give you a chocolate. I'll chocolate take, here's what's surprising to me is the amount of heat on this. I guess it is it, 90 proof. I was gonna say it is a bit hot. I, I kind of but I like lost that, that like, over. But it's like it's like you took a nice well-balanced whiskey like a like say a Woodford Reserve or something like that that's like smooth and just very well balanced and then you just like kicked it at the end it's like nice beautiful brown sugar caramel little chocolate and then at the end it's just like just a big to answer your question caramel yes yeah mmm damn it I'm surprised (laughs) yeah I'm I'm really shocked man you, you so we've got one more bottle that they give I, us, I know and they we, did give us these. I will point that out. This I, was given us. We did not buy them. They sent it to us. And we told did buy us the t-shirts, though, right? No, no, we, didn't, <laughs> we did not buy the. No, I, they it sent looks us like everything. I know this feels like we're if if this is the first video you, you watched where someone sent us a bottle and it looks like we're fanboying all over this. 
go back and watch some other videos. This this is not the case. I mean, it's just killer. She got, she got the high score. <laughs> Man, I hope that audio comes through. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have one more bottle to try for these guys that we haven't got to yet because we didn't want to do all of them back to back, and it's their gin. I like gin. I really hope this is going to be kind of the London dry style, but I am excited now. Man, yeah. these guys have killed it on the whiskey. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, the rye is just like such a good daily drinker, and honestly, this is... Too- What's the town they're from? I always uh, forget. Oh, man, don't make me pronounce that. Labadi? Labad? I think it's someone told me Labadi. 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 One of those. One, one of, of those. One of Somewhere the things we just there. said. Um, the other thing, and the price point on these are, I believe, are around 35 bucks a bottle, which is just a steal. Yeah. I, would what put I'm, this, I was thinking the same number, so. I would put this up against a $50 whiskey day in and day Easy. out. Easy. Like, maybe more. Um, but definitely in that range. In fact, I'm thinking of one we're going to put it up against maybe here in a minute. Oh, on the on the Patreon? On the Possibly. Podcast? Possibly. All right. I got if one you're of... not a uh, Patreon member or a Patronus member or whatever we call it at this point, <laughs> if you like Harry Potter, <laughs> then uh, maybe you should be and you'll see what we're talking about and go over to our Patreon. You can check us out and uh, see got... what we're doing with this after we kill the cameras here. Yeah, I've got another one I want to pull down too. I wonder if it's the same one. Uh, anything else on this? Let's find out. Which one are you talking about? Duke? Yes. <laughs> oh my exactly god. exactly the one I'm talking about. All right. Well, right there. All right. Join the Patreon. Um, guys, thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Whether it's a Samuel Burton you're going to go up see in Labadi, Missouri, and check them guys out, and all the Facebook stuff you're going to go click and say, hey guys, we've seen this on Taste Buds, and it was really cool, and we want some of your stuff, and we're going to go check them out. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Something fell out of the cupboard. Oh, it's your turn. I know. That was my line. Uh, food you're eating. Clothes you're wearing. Or the people you're meeting. Grab a buddy. Try something new.